and we're back. And this, this is the Acer Chromebook 15. So here we have it, the Acer Chromebook 15. Acer has made two Chromebooks in the 15.6 inch size, and this one is the budget one coming in at $199. 1366 by 768 display. Intel processor, this is the N3060, four gigs of RAM and 16 gigs of internal storage. So let's take out the unboxing knife. And let's get deeper into this box. Acer Chromebook 15. 15.6 inch of Chromebook has been a lot of people's dream. 14 inches we have for a long time. There's been a lot of Chromebooks at the 13.3 inch size and a lot of them at 12. And then you have the 11.6. This is 15.6 inches. I know a lot of people is holding back, waiting for a full 17 inches. Look at this. Big, big Chromebook for those people who've been waiting for this. And this charges up by, man, look at that connector. The old fashioned connector. So let's get into this 15.6 inch behemoth right here. This is a nice looking Chromebook. It got that brushed metal finish that you guys can see right there. Really looks good, but very smooth to the touch. You don't feel any texture at all. Feels very smooth and plasticky. At the bottom, you got a lot of grip. So you're gonna get your grip from the bottom. 15.6 inch Chromebook or any computer 15.6 inches is a lot of Chromebook to hold on to. So you're definitely gonna have to hold it very firm. Acer logo, Chrome logo at the top. Check out your hinges, your fans. You also have screws, just in case you wanna dip into this. Not me though, but four gigs of RAM is enough for a Chromebook to have a good experience coupled with an Intel Celeron. So I think for the price, you're getting an awful lot of Chromebook for the price. Let's get into these speakers. They kind of upgraded the way it looks and the way it feels. That Intel Celeron is just enough power to really have a good Chromebook experience. Also, it says it's gonna have 12 hours of battery life, 802.11 Wi-Fi. You have an HD webcam, you have HDMI ports and you have a hundred gigs of free cloud storage from Google. USB 3.0 port, headphone jack, your HDMI input. You have a full size SD slot also with another USB 3.0 port. And of course with all new Chromebooks, you got to plug it in for it to boot up. Anytime you sign into a Chromebook, one of the first things you got to do is put in your Wi-Fi information, you put in your Gmail information, you put in your code, and once you put in your Gmail code, you're in. You don't have to make up a new code, you put in your same Gmail code. So far guys, this is a matte screen. This is not the best screen on the market. It's only 720p resolution you're gonna get when you're watching videos and stuff like that. It's an anti-glare screen. You're not gonna get much glare with this panel. It's gonna be good. If you're in a coffee shop and the sun is shining, you're gonna be able to still see your screen pretty good. So you guys are looking at the screen, the screen look washed out. And on my end, the screen look washed out as well. This is a matte display. You got the good color angles side to side, but up and down is a little off. But when you're in that coffee shop that has a lot of sunlight coming in, you're gonna be fine. When you're looking to work outdoors, you're gonna be fine. Not a lot of people like the matte screen, but for the person who's looking for that type of screen that's gonna have that anti-glare, this is it right here. Pretty good screen. You're getting 15.6 inches, 720p. That's gonna be a pretty good screen if you're into matte screens. But the keyboard, I've been typing so far on this keyboard and the keyboard feels very good. 
the presses feel nice and deep, firm, they definitely put some emphasis on the keyboard. Now, the trackpad feels good. It's definitely plastic. It got a little bit of feel to it. And I normally like trackpads like that. I'm gonna put that to the test. But I can already tell the keyboard I'm gonna be pretty happy with. The screen, yeah, the screen has its moments where it's gonna look good and look washed out. Now the, the speakers, full volume. If you ever heard a good computer speakers, this ain't it. Sounds good, sounds loud, but it really doesn't have good quality. So the 199 is starting to show. The trackpad, I'm starting to feel the trackpad. It feels nice when while you're scrolling, but once you start pressing on it, I would say you're better off tapping. Pressing does not feel good on this Chromebook. You're better off tapping. Four gigs of RAM is gonna provide a good experience with this Chromebook. I like the trackpad as long as I don't have to press it. So this is not a review because I still gotta check battery life. I still gotta make a phone call from it. Check out that webcam. Four gigs of RAM on any Chromebook is gonna give you a good experience. Coupled with a Celeron processor, and the Celeron processors are only getting faster and better. So I don't have any issues when it comes to the processing power, when it comes to the performance, you're gonna have a very good experience with this Chromebook. The downfalls that I see from reviewing a lot of Chromebooks is going to be the screen and probably the trackpad if you like to press. But other than that, you're gonna have a good experience with this Chromebook. I'll put it to the test just to make sure. So if you're looking for a budget Chromebook at this 15.6 inch size, I don't think you can go wrong with the Acer Chromebook 15 because the price is right and the size is big. We'll see you in the next one with the last word of review of this Acer Chromebook 15.